Yo, what's going on, Dragon Ballers? Welcome back to another gameplay video. This time, we've got a Patreon battle for you. We've got myself on the bottom side of the screen playing Mono Black Demigrat Aggro with Draftbox 5 stuff. You'll see the Viara in my hand from Draftbox 5. Then we have one of my patrons, James, playing Mono Blue SS3, a concoction of his own. Pretty powerful. I mean, honestly, for no multicolors, it actually gives me a, a pretty good run for my money. We played a, a match, and this was the one game I happened to record but he took the match so uh the deck was pretty powerful has a lot of strong counterplays but yeah so if you guys are new here make sure to subscribe hit that bell to never miss a video if you want to help the channel out lots of free ways to do that you guys can check the description down below for my tcg player link if you want to buy the cards you see in today's video you could also simply like the video maybe watch an ad all that stuff is a free way to help the channel out a lot so that being said looks like i'm going first charging a poutine i do play three dark power black mass sand but doesn't seem like i happen to get one but that's okay not really a crucial turn one play by any means. So it looks like James is going to attack here to ramp. We can see his hand size changing. He moves a card from the bottom of his deck. He'll take a life and put it in his energy. Another UI Goku. Yeah, so even though this leader is really, really balanced in a sense, like it brings the energy and taps, it costs you a card from your hand. It's still really powerful. You guys will see that once he gets to his awakened side, that that three energy, man, that three energy is really, really powerful. So we are charging one of the three of power bursts. Now we can finally start making plays as Demigra. And honestly, it's like I went second. Like James's hand is a little smaller than the typical going first hand would be. I think it's like one card smaller, but uh, he is an energy up, which means he basically got to go first. So he'll catch up an energy pretty quickly. I think my game plan here is to pretty much um, be as aggressive as possible to stop him from ramping, but we'll see how aggressive I'm able to be. Since I did go first, I do have the extra turn to go a little bit more aggressive, which is nice. So playing out the gravy, playing out the poutine, adding another demi gras off of the poutine. That that cycle of that engine is just so powerful. Being able to guarantee you have the same play again next turn to spit out two bodies pretty nuts couple that with your awakening turn it's basically free it really gets crazy so this is really awesome because now i'm able to bring out turles and then when i attack with my leader i'm gonna have four in the drop area i put my drop area off to the right just for ease of seeing everything since turles needs specific cards but so we're gonna attack with the leader we're gonna mill three and that sets, sets us up for our bardock play so we have our bardock and our nagrishi we're gonna be able to be super aggressive on this turn, which is what I wanted to showcase about the Demigrod deck. It is really insane with how aggressive it can be when you see the right pieces. And it's Dragon Ball Super. We draw a ton of cards. Odds are you will see the right pieces. So we're overwhelming out the Bardock. We're drawing two, pitching a card. The nice thing is this overwhelm lets me pitch the Viara, and then the Turles itself lets me pitch the uh, the Nagrishi. So it basically they basically set themselves up, which is so insane. So Turles, we're going to activate battle. Now, normally I wouldn't activate battle so preemptively, but since we are playing Nagrishi, there's no reason not to, essentially, because it's going to allow us to replace itself in a sense. Like, since my opponent's leader is only a, a 10k, I normally wouldn't use the activate battle of Turles, but since it's going to equate to another attack for free, it's okay to do it here, even though he is at a 10k base. But he did beans, now he's 15, so it's a good thing I used Turles. He's going to awaken here. And he has eight cards in his hand. For for a frontside leader who doesn't draw very much, he does have a good amount of cards in his hand. Now, that's pos that's partially my fault because, you know, I, I attacked and gave him a bunch of cards off his life. So now he's not going to really lose cards. He's going to swing and draw cards every turn, which is a good and a bad thing for the mono blue strategy for SS3 because it's going to be a little slower for him to get to Obuni, which is one of the most powerful boss monsters in the deck. But regardless, he's still looking decent with a decent hand size. He has a three life, though, so... I am putting the pressure on him. I got the gravy swing here, and I'll be able to get an Agrishi swing after after this, which is pretty nuts. So it looks like he's going to combo 5k. He is 20k from Sensu Bean. We're going to activate Nagrishi, get the Turles out of here. That Turles should be in my warp, actually. I made a slight mistake there, but... Let's see if it matters too too much yeah so we're deciding not to attack with the Grisha here because he is sensu bean so i could attack and then like combo a 5k but it kind of just equates to him discarding a card and me discarding a card or he takes a damage 
So, I mean, it didn't seem worth it there. I'll just keep the Negrishi in, in uh, active mode, and it's one less threat he's able to clear if he able, if he is able to produce a really wide board here. We'll see. He's going to go for three energy. He's going to go for the Android uh, 18 draw two. That's really powerful because it's basically free. I mean, when it goes back to my turn, he's going to untap all three of those energy. He gets the draw two, and he gets to clear some of my threats. So, that's a, a good move, a really powerful move, in my opinion. This is probably going out the Viara, I would imagine. That 20k crit is a problem. So he's going to kill it off there. Goes to the bottom of the deck thanks to its own effect, I believe. Yep. So now James is going to swing his leader probably into Gravy because his leader does get a free 5k boost. He's going to untap three and say go. So now I'm on my three energy, and this is actually pretty daunting. Like, blue is one of the harder things for Demigrod to deal with. Bean is a very problematic card because it's reminiscent of Storm. You're a, you're a super go-wide strategy, and Bean is an anti-go-wide card. So it is pretty rough. I noticed that in, in every single game we played. I think we played three games between this Demigrod deck and this Mono Blue SS3 deck. And Bean is a pain for Demigrod to deal with, although... A lot of your dudes are 20k, so it is nice that you can still damage an Awakened Leader. You just gotta see the right pieces. Now, James thinking here if he wants to counterplay. He has a few good counterplay options at his disposal. Honestly, I probably should have swung with the Negrishi before even using the Demigod promo. You definitely want to swing with, with what you have on board, because now that there's a card like Hit, Deadly, Deadly Vanguard, and a few other things that bounce multiple battle cards, you definitely want to be able to... Swing everything first, and then if they have like a counterplay that bounces multiple things, or like a Vegeta exploiting weakness, you definitely want to play around that as best you can. So we are getting the gravy and the poutine out. The poutine serving us another demi -Gras, which is awesome. Get a little snapshot of the deck list there. If you guys want to see the deck list for uh, for the demi deck, let me know in the comments below. I can definitely make that happen. I'm a big, big fan of this deck, so I'd gladly show it off. So we got part of our drop area up on the screen. We got part of our drop area down below, which makes it a little bit easier for me to see everything. I think we're just gonna go full face here. So Negrishi's gonna go at the leader. He's gonna negate with the Uneasy Alliance Goku. And this is exactly why I should have attacked with the Negrishi first. So learning point there. This is exactly why I should have attacked with Negrishi first. I wouldn't have gotten punished by that UI Goku nearly as badly. I do have the poutine there. I will combo the other poutine because they both are cards that basically replace themselves. So comboing the poutine is no big deal. He's going to combo the Uneasy Alliance Goku out. So he defends the damage. I do still have a pretty good amount of stuff I can do this turn. Although it does hurt that I'm dumb and played di and uh, didn't play around the exact thing I'm talking about right now. Definitely should have attacked with the Negrishi first. But that's okay. We're going to drop Turles here. And we do have an Agrishi in the drop, which is pretty sweet. So it looks like I'm thinking about what I want to do here. I do have the Negrishi play set up, which is nice. The awkward thing, though, is if I want to use Activate Battle of Turles, I do have to neg somewhere else which is a little awkward but it actually makes up for it because that tier list that i should have warped earlier i'll have the correct amount of cards in the drop area for this next the next plays i'm about to do so this actually makes it all evened out so we are a 15k tier list here going in at the leader i do have five cards in my drop area go for the second attack so it looks like james took that first one now he'll combo out of the next one and I remember James mentioning that he wasn't sure if I play Champa for further introduction Champa. And I don't play it in this build personally. Although, I mean, I think it's an okay one to two of. Like, it gets a little risky. Like, you might miss a leader draw, although it's not super likely. But it is scary nonetheless. But it's such a good card, like, to go all in on your leader, especially in a point like this. Where now I need to get him to one and then to zero. The Champa would make it a little bit easier, but milling it early can suck. It gets really, really rough. So no Viara in our hand, so we are going to pitch a Negrishi, which actually works out fine because Negrishi can warp itself to play itself from the drop area. So that is still a very, very powerful thing I'm able to do here. 
throwing out 20k leader swing. Looks like he is going to take the damage. So he's at one life here. If I can get that leader swing to go through, I'll be in a pretty good spot. Although I do just want to... I, I pretty much know at this point he doesn't have sensor beam because he would have used it already if he did. So we're just going to pressure 15k attackers. Each one is going to force a card out of his hand. So we'll see what he opts to do here. I imagine the leader swing is about to get negated, but we'll see. The other cool thing too is like mono blue, you don't really have to worry about any arrivals that can kill yourself mid-battle. I don't know if there's actually much stuff that can kill your stuff mid-battle in mono blue, if there is any at all. So it's like he doesn't negate the leader swing here. I imagine this is just an all-in drop it turn. Like we have two super combos. I don't think we've seen any super combos on James's part though. He does have two energy though, so if he has 10Ks, that could be good for him. We'll see what happens here. We're just gonna go all in. So we're at 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75 looks like. 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75K. And for a SS3 deck with seven cards in hand, this can be very doable. Yeah, he's got the Kamehameha ISR. That's a free 15K combo. So he's already off to a good start. That's 30K right there. We got... Oh, and he had the negate that he didn't use. So looks like James is not gonna be able to combo out of it. Got a little greedy there, not negating the leader swing. Um... I could have overwhelmed again. I think I could have sealed the deal. And I guess I do have a way to double strike in the deck with the SS3 Tag Team Trunks. That is my one way to uh, to get the double strike in there. But guys, that was the game. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let me in the comments below if you guys want to see any of the deck profiles. I can uh, try and make whatever I can make happen. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I will see you all next time.